welcome to Bewitching Stitches. My name is Lottie. Um, if you've been here before, then welcome back um, and thank you for joining me again. Um, and if this is your first time here, then welcome to the Crafty Coven. You're most welcome. Um, please, yeah, watch a couple of videos. I hope you really enjoy um, the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Um, today is just going to be a little weekly catch up um, and let you know what I've been working on this week. Um, so it is all knitting this week. Um, which I know is probably not that exciting for you, you guys that don't knit, so I am really sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, it's pretty much the stuff I was working on last week. I'll explain. So, um, <laughs> I've got two work in progress at the moment. Um, I'm trying to focus on Christmas stuff, some stuff I've had to put on hold for the time being. Um, so, the socks that I showed you that I'd cast on last week out of this yarn, please excuse the fact that it's all mess up. Um, I've had to frog these socks three times now and I'm seriously considering frogging them again. Um, so this is my sock so far. Um, so you see the, it's, I love the colour changes, don't get me wrong, it's really really pretty. So the top is just a, I think it's a two by two rib and then it goes into like this four by two rib I think and then you like I don't know I don't know if you saw the the pattern I posted last week um it's calcite socks by Winwick Mum I'm just not sure about it like I say I've frogged it three times um I might just choose a different pattern and start again I can't decide I don't know whether to per persevere with it um and see how it goes or just cut my losses and do something else to be honest um so you don't really want to work on stuff you know when when it's like it's not going well for you um it's kind of enough to just put you off so i haven't really done much work on them this week to be honest um especially since my yarn arrived for my mystery christmas countdown slash advent project i was teasing about last week um I'm so excited about this. It's like the cutest thing. Um, so basically I'm going to be making a, like I say, Christmas countdown slash advent um, calendar style situation for my mum because um, we've always had like fabric ones that you can like fill yourself um, growing up. Um, and my mum hasn't got anything and I just feel like it's mean. <laughs> So I thought I'll make a one um, and I saw this pattern on Ravelry and I just absolutely fell in love. I knew I had to make it straight away. Um, so, oh, it's so cute. It's tiny little countdown mittens that you peg to a string or a ribbon um, like across your mantle or a shelf or something like that. Um, so each day is a mitten. Um, each Mitten is completely different, they're all Fair Isle um, type patterns, um, a couple of different colours mixed in. Um, the pattern, um, I'll link it below if you're using Ravelry, um, it's on there. Um, yeah, the, the pattern is done in, I think the one that, the, the, like the sample one, is the main colour is red um, with like a, a dark grey, a light grey and a white. Um, but I fancied a bit more colour than that, so I went for... Um, like a burgundy, um, a limey green colour, um, a dark grey and a slightly off-whitey light grey. Um, so I guess I'll show you them, I'm so excited. Uh, so this is a day one mitten. So you can see on there it's got a little one. It's so cute. Look at it. So like size-wise that's it against my hand. I do have quite small hands but they're, they're not too big. Um, I've been sort of knitting one a day to be honest so far um, so yeah this one's got these beautiful little um, snowflakey type fair isle patterns on and that's the back it's the same but it's not got the number this little motif on the thumb so that's day one day two is this one um, so you can see the number two um, this has got little heart motifs on it, little hearts here, heart on the thumb, and that's the back. 
I think this one's probably my favourite so far. I really like it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Um, and then day three was more like a geometric-y pattern. So um, you can't see the number so well on this because, like I say, they used a light grey and a white for this, but I obviously didn't have that. Um, so I just used the light grey and dark grey with the red contrast. Um, so this has got like a check pattern running over the top of some stripes. See the thumb there is stripey. Um, and it's got a little number three on it. I don't know. It's not really showing like it is easier to see than it's showing up on the camera. So that one is number three. And I have just cast off number four today. This is number four. See, there we are, number four. This one's got this beautiful little um, flower on it. And the back, it's got a lovely little flower motif on the thumb as well. So, yep, and that's day number four. Um, I've just cast on number five, but there's no progress really to show you. Um, so I'll show you the way that they're structured. So you start off with pearl rows to stop it from, obviously, you know, with stocking at stitch, um, it tends to roll back on itself. Um, so you start with a couple of pearl rows, but you twist the um, the yarn floats over the stitch. So you get this lovely little, like, striping pattern that goes through. Um, so you do that one way and then you reverse the direction of your twist going back again on the second row. Um, and then it's just following the, the colour chart. Um, so the way that the pattern comes, you get one sheet that is um, like just instructions, um, and then there's a different colour work chart for every day. Um, so I've just had them both sort of open side by side um, so I can refer back. Um, but kind of once you've done one or two, um, you can kind of get a hang of the pattern anyway, so you only really need the chart. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I really enjoy a bit of colour work, so it's been nice. Um, they are a little bit fiddly because they are small, um, but I'm so chuffed with them. Look at them all together. So cute. <laughs> I'm honestly obsessed. So number five is going to be mostly green, I think. So there'll be a nice sort of spread of colours going through. Um, I just fancied like slightly like Christmassy tones, but slightly, you know, not not too traditional with the darker red and the lighter green. Um, so the ribbon I've got to go on these is like um, green and red, sort of diagonal stripe ribbon I bought with it. Um, so either I can just feed them onto the ribbon through this little loop, or I can peg them on like they have in the picture. Um, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with them. Um, I'm not sure whether to go about, I think they need a block, but not really certain how, I guess I'll just have to pin them out because they're quite a dense little situation. So I don't know, I yeah, I guess they probably need a little block just because of the colour work. Obviously sometimes it makes the texture a bit funny. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll have to block them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you'd make anything like this. Um, I highly recommend the pattern. Like I say, it's been really, really fun to work up. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing the rest of them. Um, it's nice, like I say, it's, it's something you can just whip up one a day um, and it doesn't feel like too much hard work. Um, I've missed a couple of days obviously because I've been working and stuff like that, but yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, even if you're not sort of, if you don't celebrate Christmas or, I mean, they would just make a really, really pretty, um, like, countdown calendar to the end of the year maybe, or um, just like if you missed the numbers off, if you just did the back piece twice, they'd just make a really nice hanging decoration, like wintry decoration, to be honest. Um, I just think they look really, really cute. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think of them. Um, and let me know what you're working on as well, because like I said, this is so it's a pretty brief one today, because that's all I've been working on. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with them. Um, oh, and an update for you guys who saw my previous video where I was talking about um, the camouflage coloured blanket I crocheted for um, a friend of mine at work uh, for like our little sort of surprise gift exchange thing. 
um, yeah, he loved it and naturally he figured out it was off me straight away. <laughs> Literally messaged me the same day and was like, oh, thank you so much for the blanket. And I was like, oh, you figured out it was off me then. Um, but yeah, he really liked that. So I'm chuffed. So I, cause you know, obviously it's always the same when you gift anything to anybody, you're always a bit worried about whether or not they'll like it or if they just say they like it or eh, you know how it is. Um, <laughs> I'm sure anybody any of you guys out there who make items to gift um it's one of those things like it's so so rewarding when people love love what you've made them but sometimes you just it's heartbreaking to see your item be unappreciated for all the hours and you know time that you've put into making it um but hey ho i guess that's 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 the issue with hand making stuff i guess uh, it's not for everybody i suppose um, so yeah, that's pretty much it from me in terms of making this week. Um, how are you guys? How is how is everybody doing? Um, I know the situation in the UK is pretty bleak again at the moment. Um, in Wales, we've just come out of our two week fire break lockdown. Um, so it does mean that I can actually, you know, like go out and do stuff again now, which is exciting. Um, because obviously during our two week lockdown, we've not been able to even like go anywhere to go for a walk you have to do walks from your house and stuff like that so that was a bit I mean it's nice to walk around by by my house don't get me wrong but sometimes you just need to change the scenery um so really the only time I've been leaving the house is to go to work so it's not ideal um but I know now Wales have come out of our lockdown I know England are going back in um to a four week lockdown now so if you're in England I really do feel for you guys um hopefully it won't be long um before you can go and do stuff again obviously it's it's just so tricky it's a balance isn't it of keeping people safe but also protecting mental health as well um but yeah this is why I'm such a big advocate for for crafting <laughs> it's always something that keeps my mental health going um you know just just keeps me going when I'm feeling a bit down um but yeah I know so many people at the moment that are suffering with stress and anxiety so I really do you know I do feel for you all um I say that as if I'm not involved as well I mean everybody's affected my mental health um so yeah big hugs to everybody um and let me know how you're doing in the comments um also let me know what you're working on I'd love to know um if you're working on anything while you're watching this video let me know um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you all next week, hopefully with more tiny mittens of joy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just gonna flash them again because I just, I love them so much. There we go. Nice to chat to you again, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week.